Good evening, uh, church family and friends. This is Pastor Sam coming to you a little late today. We were delayed somewhat in our visit to uh, Salar City and the funeral home there for uh, Bobby Purvis. I, of course, want you to keep his family uh, in your hearts and minds tonight and tomorrow as we, uh, as we pray for them and pray for his family. I uh, want to announce as well that Virginia is now home. Some of you may know that, but Virginia is home and doing doing well after her surgery. My message tonight uh, really is a precursor of my sermon message for this Sunday, but I thought this would be a good tickler, and uh, we'll talk about trust a little bit tonight. Uh, uh, our lesson comes to us from... Uh, a walk with God, uh, uh, a daily devotional that I have. It says, accept no substitutes. It says, if I have put my trust in gold or said to pure gold, you are my security, I would have been unfaithful to God on high. This comes to us from the book of Job. Uh, Oswald Chambers says here, a quote, it is not our trust that keeps us, but the God in whom we trust who keeps us. Hear these words. It says, Moses once gave a very long discourse on the blessings of obeying God and the curse of disobedience. God had entered a covenant with his people, one in which he would never default, but would his people. Moses explained what would happen if they did. Their enemies would lay siege to their cities until the high fortified walls in which they trust fall down. This is one of the dreadful results of sin. We begin to trust our best efforts rather than the ever-dependable God. Listen to this again. When we focus on, on sin, it says this is one of the dreadful results of sin. We begin to trust our best efforts, our best efforts, rather than the ever-dependable God. Our faith in God crumbles and we must come up with a substitute however flawed they may be. In Moses' speech, it was the high walls of cities, protection, just in case God happened to fail. In Job's lament, it's gold, provision, just in case God happened to lack. There is no shortage of securities that we set up to ensure our safety, our health, our comfort, our pleasures, We can depend upon them heavily. When we do, we take a huge risk. We may gradually learn to place more trust in them than in God. And what do we place our trust these days, I might ask? By God's standards, that's unfaithfulness. When we place our trust in anything other than Him. Where do you look for your sense of peace? An account? An education, the national defense, the institutions, government institutions, if you will, airport security stations, as an example, standard airbags, the list could go on for pages. Not that there's anything wrong with earthly insurance in the various forms it takes, but our trust in wealth or walls can be a veiled statement of mistrust in God. He must let our false securities fail before our trust turns back to him. Do you remember? His eyes on the sparrow and the hairs on your head are all numbered. The only thing that can undo you is your deliberate disobedience. And even then, it's under his supervision. Let yourself trust the one who is unfailingly trustworthy. Accept no substitutes. Rest in his sovereign arms. The lesson, of course, here is is trust and belief. I want to take this idea of belief and trust a step farther in my Sunday message. I encourage you to uh, stay tuned and to uh, be ready and and um, and available and willing when I put out my message for this Sunday. In the meantime. Be thinking about the things in which we place our trust today with this COVID 
19 virus around. We're placing our trust in so many things and in so many people and so much information. Perhaps we're all scurrying around doing things, trying to protect ourselves rather than depending and trusting on the protection of God Almighty. Dear brothers and sisters, I love you. Lucy sends her love. Be ever mindful. Be ever mindful of one another. Stay in touch. Keep in touch. Pray for one another. Pray for Bobby uh, Purvis's family tomorrow. And until then, until we meet again, may God bless you. I love you. And we will be in touch. Good night.